feel like it. Mirage turns into a mechanical exoskeleton suit for Noah to fight in. So he's Iron Man now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, that's okay. The Avengers made a lot of money, so I'm happy it we're did, doing yeah. Avengers. Hey guys, my name's Dan, and today's reaction is Transformers Rise of the Beast pitch meeting. Now, you have people who really either hate the Transformers movie franchise or really love it. Uh, I try to go into this without having any real sort of expectations for it because I, for one, have been disappointed by some Transformers movies in the past. So I try to go into this with fresh eyes and I'll be honest, I was fairly surprised with how it went, but we'll get into that. But I'm very, very curious to see how exactly this movie was pitched from Ryan's perspective. But before we get into it, though, please do check out all of these links. Then go on over and support not only the Pitch Meeting channel, but Ryan George's channel as well. All of those links will be down in the description. And lastly, the best and easiest way to support me is by going right below this video, clicking all those buttons down there. Because not only does I let you see future reactions that I do, that I do every single day, but it also helps my channel to grow in with that any further ado let's go so you got a new transformers movie for me yes sir i do amazing hey how many of these bad boys have we even put Ooh, out how, at this how? point there's no way for me to know that or find it out that's a good point that's very true so in this one i'm thinking a human stumbles upon a transformer right and at first they're like whoa but then they become friends and save the world together hey that's, that's pretty good pretty i like that a lot every right? transformers so movie make this one a little different oh that's not really necessary well sir i was thinking it might be exciting to call this one Rise of the Beasts and introduce the Maximals from Beast Wars. Oh, that's actually <laughs> going to be really different. Very cool, though. Well, no, I said a little different, so they're just going to kind of be there a little at the beginning and a little at the end. But we're going to call the movie Rise of the Beasts. Yes, yep. that works. So we're going to meet the main human of this story, right? This dude in the 90s named Noah Diaz. Oh, it's the 90s, huh? Wow, it yep. must have been tough to fit this all in with the continuity of all the other movies. Actually, it was super, it was super easy. easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I figured out the perfect way to tie all these movies together logically, and it just takes one page of dialogue. It's really quick. Oh, uh, oh, dropped, well, well, it. dropped, it. dropped that. Dropped it. Sure uh, did. Butterfingers are tight. Yeah. They are good, though. Well, we'll probably be fine without it. Well, I mean, we could just pick it up. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's fine. All the way down there. It's one of us fine. could just bend over. No, it's all dirty. No, down. no, it's... it's... Not, we'll be fine. No. If you say so. Yeah, so anyway, this guy Noah needs some money because his little brother is sick, and he agrees to steal a car, which ends up being a Transformer called Mirage. The robot was in disguise? That's very on brand. You know <laughs> it, sir. There's also this human named Elena, and she finds a special space thingy at the museum she works at inside an artifact. A Space thingy, huh? Is it an important space thingy? Sir, sure it's a is. very important space thingy. Whoa! Yeah, and so since Whoa. she found this space thingy, it makes this big old pulse that gets detected by Optimus Prime. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 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 So Optimus <laughs> calls all the Autobots together for a meeting, and Mirage heads there with Noah inside him. Sick! And severely injures or kills several <laughs> so cops excited. along the way. Oh, my God. So now the appearance of this space thingy has kind of created a situation for everybody, because now they have to defeat a unicorn. What? They gotta stop this magical horse that has a pointy horn coming out of it. That doesn't make sense. Unicron. No, that... Unicron. Uh, Unicron. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. What horse is that? Not a horse. about to say, I don't remember a unicorn in the movie. It's at all. It turns out it's a big planet-eating bad guy. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Most humans live on planets. That's right, yes. sir. And so this space thingy has drawn out his followers, the terror cons, and they want the space thingy real bad. Why? Well, because if they get it, they can open up a portal and Unicron can eat the Earth. Oh, very evil. Yeah, and so now Optimus wants the space thingy so he can open up a portal so him and the Autobots can go home, and Noah wants the space thingy so he could stop the Earth from being eaten. I can understand both perspectives, sure. and I hope they set aside their differences and find a way to work together. They will. <laughs> so these bad guys actually steal the space thingy, but it turns out it was only half a space thingy, and then they kill Bumblebee. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's gonna be very sad. He's one of my favorite merchandising opportunities. I mean, <laughs> characters. Well, wow! We're gonna give Mirage some room to breathe, because he's kind of like Noah's Bumblebee. Uh, so they're are gonna bond and create a new revenue stream of uh, friendship. Yeah, exactly. that's it. Anyway, then it's time to go to Peru. Well, okay then. Do you, do you want to know why? I'm guessing there's gonna be a couple of minutes of exposition explaining that that's where the other half of the space yes. thingy is. That's, yes. Yeah, yep. that's exactly yep. my, 
Wow, do you even need me? Hopefully not for much longer. We're really <laughs> hoping this AI thing's gonna work out for us. What? So then when Oh happens, God! When they're in Peru, they meet up with the Maximals. Okay. And it turns out they gave the other half of the space thingy to a tribe of humans, and then it gets stolen by the bad guys too. Oh no, they have two pieces of the they thingy. They do. That's right, sir. So they have two halves of this thingy. You put, put it together. Together. What are you really? doing? Really? Fractions. Oh my God. Fractions? Are you okay? One half plus one half equals what? Oh, someone didn't do good in math in high school. Oh my huh? god, they have a hundred percent of the thingy. That's right, sir. So they got two out of two parts. Yes! That's right, sir. That's... So they use it to open a portal for Unicron. Oh no, so I guess it's all over for the good guys then. Nope. Not quite, because it's gonna take a while for the portal to open, and it turns out there's a human-sized tunnel with a human-sized keyboard where if the humans enter a code, it can stop all of this. Yeah. Sounds right. Well, great. So then we're going to have this big old battle <laughs> scene, and excitement. all the good guys are going to fight bad guys in this big gray landscape. Yeah, it sounds like the end of Avengers Endgame. What? Mm -hmm. No, it's not anything like the Avengers. Mm -hmm. It's just that's pretty much how it went down in Endgame. Big yeah. old battle with all the characters on a big old gray landscape. Are there disposable CGI enemies? Hey! Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. But it's not anything like the Avengers. It's right. exactly yeah, like Mirage it. turns into a mechanical exoskeleton suit for Noah to fight in. So he's Iron Man now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, okay. The Avengers made a lot of money, so I'm happy it we're did, doing yeah. an Avengers. Okay, it's fair. Well, great. So then Bumblebee. I really come. enjoyed that movie. Come back to life. What? How? Energon. Hey, uh, Energon. Yeah, sure. That's fine. I yeah, don't really of need course. An and you know, if he was dead, it would create this huge time paradox that which wouldn't really make much sense in the Transformers timeline. Good, because it's going to be pretty hand wavy anyway. And then the good guys save the day. Amazing. Yeah. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a Transformers movie. You know, mm -hmm. maybe in the next one we'll freshen up the formula a bit. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see maybe? if we can think no? of something. Maybe we. Uh... I don't know, toss another kind of toy in the mix? Yeah, that was Another works. kind of toy? Oh, dear. Yeah, they. Yeah, that, that was a thing that, that came up there in the end. Oh, boy. That should be very interesting to see how that goes. But I actually I actually really enjoyed this. I, I, I enjoyed, like, uh, with, with the main characters sort of finding out, like, what was going on with them and then really, really rooting for them to succeed. Uh, more specifically, uh, uh, Diaz character and his brother because his brother was sick and their survival. I really wanted them to survive so uh, the kid can, can the kid can get better because it was promised money and all these other things. And then he ended up saving the day and then ended up getting offered a position, which is something he was looking for for the entire movie because the family didn't have a lot of money and he was looking for a job. And the the, the 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 people who were in the original the person one of the people who one of the people who were in the original Transformers movie I I swear I can talk what it what was at the end it was like we're covering everything everything's all good I was like yeah that's awesome and the, the fight scenes were fun and as I said I really enjoyed uh, all the Avengers movies especially Endgame. One of my favorite uh, Marvel-related movies. So the fact that they use that similar scene and I enjoyed it so much is not at all coincidental. That really appealed to me. Uh, them, all of them surviving really tugged on my heartstrings. Like, like, because like I said, I wanted to see this kid survive, and and I want to see his brother survive as well, and all these other things, and everything sort of worked out in the end. It was a feel-good ending, and. Optimus Prime also started off the movie not trusting humans, but then ended up trusting them because obviously he's going to have to do that if this movie is a prequel to the original Transformers. So it all sort of makes sense in that aspect, and I really, really, truly enjoyed that. So whatever comes of this should be a lot of fun because I do love me a good crossover because as I said, I love Avengers. I love all things Marvel, so any sort of crossover, I'm all on board for so that's going to do it for me here. Comment down below. Let me know what did you think about Transformers Rise of the Beast. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please check out all of these links before you go. And lastly, and most importantly, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my $5 and up supporters on Patreon. Luchador, Cruising, Wolverine 310, Jordan Bird, Kester Cronage, Amber K, Raymond Bright, Chris Curtis, Duel, Sahan, Abdullah Farouk, and Perry, and Larka. And I'll see you guys next time.